I think a lot of people think I, I must spend a lot of time with media or, or on businessy things, but actually almost, uh, almost all my time, like 80% of it is spent on engineering and design. In engineering and design, so it's um, developing next generation product, that's 80% of it. I think a lot of people think I'm kind of a business person or something, which is fine, like business is fine, but um, you know, it's like at SpaceX, my time is almost entirely with the uh, engineering team. Um, and then at, at Tesla, it's you know, something in the design studio, dealing with this, this aesthetics and, and uh, look and feel things. And, and then most of the rest of the week is just going through engineering of, of, of the car itself, as well as engineering of the, the factory. I'm not really a business plan. I'm sure there's probably lots of analysts on what? Wall Street who would agree that I'm not a business plan. I like, I'm an engineer. I like engineering and design. Um, well, I, don't, I mean, I don't sort of like look at things from like what's the rank ordered list of priorities for uh, based on a return on investment or something like that. I don't really do any investments. I mean, I only own one public security, and that's Tesla. That's it. I have no diversity in terms of public securities. Uh, make new technologies, create new technologies. I mean, technology is like magic, you know. It's a close. I mean, I think like technology is the closest thing to magic that we have in the real world, and so I think like. Engineering, creative engineering, is, is essentially technology development. And um, I guess maybe when I was, when I was a kid, I, like Lord of the Rings is my favorite book. And I thought it would be like, what's the closest thing to being a wizard uh, in the real world? And that's like creating new technologies.